Hi everybody, Exam Sam Study Aids and Media here. In this video, we're going to have a look at Accuplacer Advanced Algebra and Functions. So, what kind of functions are on the Accuplacer exam? Well, you might see graphing functions. You might see questions on function range and domain. You might see trig functions, quadratic functions, and although not a function, you might also see questions on scientific notation on the exam, so we include that here as well. So we're going to cover these five topics in the video today. We wanted to mention here, though, that at the end of the video, we're going to show a link to our other free exercises for the Accuplacer test. You'll see problems on advanced algebra, as well as some more questions on functions. We also have a free online test there. Let's have a look at our first problem. For each problem, we'll give you a few moments silence to read and absorb the information and try to come to a solution. On the screen after each problem, you'll see the answer and a worked out solution. So hit the pause button on each of these screens if you need to. Okay, for problem one, our correct answer is C. When you're faced with a graph like this, you need to try to look at specific points on the graph to help you choose the correct function. We can see on our graph here that where y is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. Since 2 is the square root of 4, we know that we need to choose answer C. Also notice on this graph that there are no negative numbers. We know that square roots of negative numbers are not real numbers. So that also shows that we need to choose answer choice C because the graph has no negative values. Okay, moving on to problem two. Again, take a few moments to read and absorb the information and try to work out your solution. You'll see the answer on the next screen. Okay, the correct answer here is D. Remember that the range of a function is all possible y values, or in other words, outputs of the function. If x is equal to 0, our equation is going to yield a result of negative 52. If we put in a positive number for x, we're going to get a result greater than negative 52. If we put in a negative value for x, we're also going to get a value greater than negative 52 because, as you know, a negative number squared is a positive number. So the correct answer here is D. The range will always be equal to or greater than negative 52. Moving on to problem 3 then. Here we have a trig function. Have a look and try to solve. The correct answer for this problem is A. Now you need to know all the important trig functions for the exam, which we cover in our math book in depth. But the particular trig function that we need here is that the tangent of a is equal to the sine of a divided by the cosine of a. So you'll need to substitute your values into the formula to solve. Have a look at the formula again. Put in the values from our original question for sine and cosine. Do the division and we can see that our result is 0 0.194. Let's have a look at problem 4 then. Take a few moments. Here we have a quadratic function problem. The correct answer for this problem is C. A quadratic can be factored in the format shown here. To solve, we need to have either of the parentheticals to be equal to 0. In that event, then, only two real number solutions exist for the above equation, since we would have one value for the parenthetical on the left and another value for the parenthetical on the right. Let's have a look at our final problem, then. Here we have a question on scientific notation. Now, if you're not familiar with this concept, we explain it in depth on the next screen. The correct answer here is B. For scientific notation, you need to take your original value and express that value in an equation that looks like this, x plus 10 to the power of y. So the value of x, in other words, the number before the plus sign, 
in scientific notation always has to be a value between 1 and 10. So the value for x here will be 6.872. In order for us to arrive at the value 6.872, we had to move the decimal to the right. So we're going to need to use a negative exponent on the 10. In other words, the 10 after the plus sign. So the decimal is moved three places to the right, so our exponent then is negative 3. Our result here then is 6.872 times 10 to the power of negative 3. We have lots more free practice problems and an online AccuPlacer math test at practiceaccuplacertest.com. Please visit us. You may also want to have a look at our publications on Amazon. We have three publications there by Exam Sam. The first, our AccuPlacer math practice book. We also have an AccuPlacer reading practice book and an AccuPlacer writing practice book. All of the books are new and up to date for the next generation exams. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.